waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Coming up in the next segment, the total collapse of our borders. Obama moves towards gun confiscation. He says he wants Australian-style actions. He said, I'll never come after your guns. Now he says, I want Australian style. This is huge. Right now, let's go back to the food babe, foodbabe.com. Other points that need to be said, because you were getting into the fact that it's good to be called a conspiracy theorist. That's like being called a heretic when you know people 500 years ago, 600 years ago said the earth wasn't flat. I mean, it's like being persecuted by the Nazis. I mean, that's a good thing that you weren't for the Nazis. I mean, this is the new term they've used for 30 years. It doesn't work anymore. So final comments. Yeah, it doesn't work. You know, and there's no conspiracy about this. The only conspiracy that's happening actually is within the beer companies, how they've lobbied the Treasury Department and the government to keep this information secret from us so they can to continue to make really, uh, like, really big bucks. I'm talking billions of dollars uh, by selling us cheap uh, harmful chemicals to us. And, you know, what's what's really important here when people start to think about these issues is that one signature, one voice can can magnify thousands. And so I just beg everyone to go to foodbabe.com slash beer and sign the petition because if we get millions of people behind this, these companies have no where to hide anymore because if people know about this information, they stop to buy those brands, they start buying other brands, or maybe they stop drinking beer altogether, which I did um, as a result. Uh, you know, and this is what increases the 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 health of the nation, the health of uh, transparency in the in, in our food environment. And I think you know, by doing these type of campaigns led by you know someone like myself, and I hope others have enough courage to do these type of campaigns on their own and their own blogs. I think we can really take over the world because there's more people than there are that work at Monsanto and that work at these beer companies. And, and there's more people collectively that pay for their products that we can actually take back the ownership and start voting with our dollars and doing the right thing. And, you know, before the break, Alex, you asked me, you said, you know, what, what do you think has made your campaign so successful? And I just, I just want to reiterate the fact that Make your voice heard, tell the truth, and ask your friends and family to share it. Like, ask them. They said, you know, tell them, like, this information is so important. Will you share it with someone you know that drinks beer or know that eats GMO corn every day in the form of, like, Subway sandwiches or whatever? You know, someone that you know, and everybody knows someone, right? Everyone knows someone who's drinking Miller Lite or Bud Light. Like, everyone I know knows somebody, whether it's your college kid that's in college at a college party or if it's your dad or if it's, you know, your neighbor or it's the person that brings the brew to the next barbecue. We all know someone drinking these brands. Shoot, just walk down the street and go into a bar and start telling people the truth about what's really in your beer. And say, Tell hey, bro, you know why, you know, beer gives you such a big belly. It's the high fructose corn syrup that's been in there for 30 years. You know, you ought to drink a local brew. And, and, yeah. say, and say, look, I'm not henpecking you. I care about you. Yeah, and people will be very thankful. And, you know, I think... You, you can know, also say, hey, did you hear about the food, babe? Man, she's smoking. You ought to check her out. And they, she discovered all this stuff that's in the beer. They want to keep it secret. <laughs> that's exactly right, you know. And, um, well, the thing is, is a lot of people, I know the haters are going to come out. And what they're going to say is they're going to be like, oh, food babe wants to take away our beer. She's trying to make a, a mountain of a molehill, you know. And I'm not trying to do any of hey, that. Hey, if that's the case, show us what's in it. If that's the case, tell us, because, I mean, there should only be four or five ingredients in beer. Right. There shouldn't you know be 20. What?
And I'm not targeting the government. You know, the government can continue to be the most dysfunctional thing that's ever existed like it is today. You know, I'm not targeting them. I'm targeting these companies that have the power to make these decisions in a heartbeat. They could get their ingredients online tomorrow. That's why you're so successful, because you're bypassing the bureaucracy, going right to the culprits and calling them out. We salute you, food babe. Great job. We'll talk to you soon. Great. Thank you, Alex. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality delivers 10 key herbs that works synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Harry has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. Take a hold of this thumb and break it if you have to. People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. 
the Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. We're live, folks. Now into our number three. And we have uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour a, a very popular comic book illustrator and writer who's worked for DC, you name it. She's done one on Snowden. And I'm in the comic drudge link to it last week. It got a lot of national attention. Uh, but she's also done some study into the iconography and archetypes of the Joker and why it's associated with so many senseless murders. And, and, and now some other comic book characters as well. We're not blaming the comic book characters. It's like, what is in the psychology of these people? Uh, that's coming up. Now, before we go any further, there is just so much news. But I'm going to be honest with you. Obama coming out on CBS Nightly News last night and saying that we need to do what Australia did. You know, they, they didn't put up with it. They had one shooting and that was it. The guns were gone. I mean, they confiscated it. They had full auto, semi-auto. They took everything but single shot with a special license. And he wanted to say, we have an epidemic of mass shootings. No, we don't. We have the media hyping them where the car backfires now. They shut down half a city. Or one supposed terrorist is on the run, so you lock down all you know, half of uh, Boston and point guns at blonde-haired women and black ladies that don't fit the description. You know, one guy's running on the loose dorner shooting a few cops. It's terrible, but... And they lock down half of Southern California and shoot up black people's cars, black women's cars, blondes cars, white men's cars. Look nothing like him. I mean, it reminds me, you take somebody who's never gone deer hunting before and they get buck fever and, you know, they, they shoot the first doe that comes out. And you're like, man, we're not shooting doe, we're shooting bucks. Well, I thought it had antlers. You take people with buck fever, I've heard of them shooting people's cows across a fence. I thought it was a deer. They want to shoot something. And you've got a percentage of cops that are like that, and they just want to shoot somebody. And the system defends them. The system is out of control, folks. It protects failure. It protects screwing up. We didn't have hardly any nuclear reactors leaking 30 years ago, and we had more of them then. 93% of U.S. reactors are leaking. Look it up. Department of Energy. Leaking. They turn the alarms off now. Used to in Minnesota and California, and if, if if radiation came out and they had to off gas it, they would have announcements. <coughs> radiation has been released. Check local news for details. Radiation has been released because by law they're supposed to tell you. Well, they just ignore the law now and made an announcement. It was in Southern California at one plant last year. Yeah, we were turning the alarm off because it's scaring people. It's going off every week. They just dump radiation into the water, into the air now. Crazy. Cops don't get in trouble when they shoot up a car that doesn't even match the description with two blondes driving it because they thought it was Dorner. They didn't get in trouble. You want someone out there? Well, they were scared. Well, Ben, that's not the cop of guys you need then, is it? It'd be bad enough if they shot some black guy that looked like him for no reason. But you could argue, well, it was a big black guy with a shaved head and a truck that looked the same. And it was a cell phone. We thought it was a gun. Well, it'd be a tragedy. You'd have to pay out a bunch of money. There'd have to be an investigation. You wouldn't get fired for that because at least you thought of it. How do you shoot up a car with two blondes in it? Or a nerdy white guy in broad daylight. And then no one gets in trouble. It, it's just... You're all dressed up in army outfits, and you're lusting after this great, glorious war you're going to have with the gun owners and the veterans. I mean, that just sounds horrible. <laughs> and they're telling the cops, you will face veterans. They will bomb you. 
It is coming. That's mainstream news. We told you first years ago, it's mainstream news. They're training, Northcom's training, to fight veterans. And they're going to start fights with veterans, and veterans are going to go haywire. I, if it really kicks off, I think as many, much as 10% of veterans are going to pull guns off the shelves 